Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B-plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed as that web page is no longer live. We are a full-service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing. If you have any questions on those, give us a call in our office at 419-899-2020. Again, that's 419-899-2020. Alrighty, folks, it's time for the inside portion of today's video tour. We are inside of this 2006 Born Free Built for Two. This one has 69,867 miles on it. Per the Carfax, this appears to be a two-owner unit. The original owner uh, lived in the state of Washington. He owned it until it had about 60,000 miles. And then it went to the second owner in 2010, uh, who happened to live right here in the great state of Ohio. So both of these front chairs are leather. Both front chairs are flex steel. Uh, flex steel makes just a little bit higher quality RV furniture. So as you can see there, both chairs are leather. Both chairs are in very good shape. They are a flex steel brand, so very comfortable. The passenger seat is manual. The driver's seat is power. Again, the driver's seat is power. So as the name states, this unit is built for two people. It has two beds in it, basically two twin size beds, one here which also doubles as your couch or sofa. And the second one on the driver's side, identical to the passenger side. These do incline. Um, there's a switch remote here on this side, one hanging over here on this side as well. Uh, so this end here tilts up. The TV is behind me, so you can either uh, incline, kind of sit up to watch TV if you want, or if you need to sleep with a little bit of an incline for any reason, uh, this do incline, I will show you that here in just a minute if you stick around. Born free was known for build, building very high quality coaches. Um, they are one of my favorite. They use a lot of real oak, real plywoods, just overall very well built coaches. They've got a nice, a nice thick fiberglass shell. It is not a one piece. There are a few panels, uh, but it is a very nice, thick, heavy fiberglass exterior shell. Outsides are built very well, as well as all of their cabinetry is very high quality. Just an overall really, really well built coach. They're also arguably one of the safest RVs on the road. Uh, they use a series of a three-point roll bar system. So right here, also this where this little uh, thing sticks out here, there's a roll bar located in there. There is one in the back, and then there is also one directly behind the cab that I can show you when we come back towards the front. Thermostat for the propane furnace is located right there. This is a split kitchen. Paper towel holder. Lots and lots of storage everywhere. Corian countertops. This is a two basin kitchen sink, and it does look like we are missing the other half of the cutting board. Uh, you could have somebody make one of those for you, or slide this one and put it on the other side, just turn it around. Remote start for our Regenerac 4K gasoline generator. We've got a prime switch here, start stop switch here, and that is showing roughly 90 hours on it. A 110 outlet switch for our propane water heater. This one here is for the bathroom light, and then the um, water heater does have an electric option. That is that switch right there. Over here, another 110 outlet. This switch is for one of the lights just overhead of me. A cigarette lighter or 12 volt, or not a cigarette lighter, you're not going to use it to light cigarettes, but a 12 volt power outlet. If you need have a laptop, iPhone, or a cell phone, any type of cord that you want to plug into a cigarette lighter, you can do so there. Noxious gas detector. The black vents here are going to be for our propane furnace. Our propane furnace is located right in here. That's why that little uh, thing there is graded. The return air to suck that back in. Nice big deep drawer. Um, just underneath the cooktop. Looks like we've got some curtains for you then there. Two burner cooktop. Range hood with uh, fan and light. Water pump switch. Monitor switch. If we hold this one here. I can't often do with my little pointer. If we hold that, it's going to light up our gauges here to show us how much is roughly in our holding tanks, our fresh water, our propane, and our charge on our battery. Stainless uh, microwave slash convection oven. So you can microwave as well as bake in that bad boy. We have a stainless front refrigerator. This is a two-way. 
So this is going to run on 110 volt electricity or propane gas. It does have an automatic feature. So if you put this in auto, uh, when you unplug from shore power, it's automatically going to switch itself over to propane by itself. So when you're traveling, you're going to use propane to keep the fridge cool and shore power or generator when you're plugged in or have the generator running. Uh, again, stainless front. And you can see we do have the nice, nice uh, freezer portion up top. Good size refrigerator for a 22 and a half foot RV. And a couple of uh, light switches back there. This is a rear entry model. If you didn't already notice that, that's pretty obvious. That uh, rear roll bar is in that uh, little square box there. Nice, nice big wardrobe in the passenger's rear corner. We've got the rod up top to hang our clothes. This is pretty tall. Um, you could put a, some stuff, stack some stuff underneath it here or put some shelving in there. Unless you're going to hang dresses or suits or something taller, you're going to need that extra height. A couple of drawers underneath that. Excuse me, one drawer. A cabinet. All right, there's a water heater. This uh, storage compartment here is accessible from the outside as well. Uh, you will see that, see that if you stick around for the outside portion of the video. We have a propane, or not propane. Ah, come on, man. Um, our fire, fire extinguisher. Nice mirror on the wall here. This does have a wet bath. A signature, or I believe Born Free put this in from the factory. Your soap, soap dispensers that you often see in hotels. Pretty sure that's a factory option because I've seen that in almost all of them that we've had. So in a wet bath, you're going to shower, uh, do your business here, wash your hands all in one confined space. This here is your formed fiberglass drain pan. It's actually it's a two-piece here. Um, this whole entire bottom half is one piece fiberglass. Then you can see the seam here. Top half is another piece. So you don't have to worry about getting water on the toilet. That's all part of the drain pan or the, the shower pan here. Obviously, stool is there. Uh, drain is there. You can sit on the stool. You can stand up if you want when you're taking your shower. Bathroom sink. Sorry, there. Words were lost again. Shower head. Uh, uses the same shower or the same valve as the bathroom sink there. Medicine cabinet with mirror on the wall. Headroom in this is, you get to look at my beautiful face. Uh, headroom is roughly uh, about 6'2". I got my shoes off because it's snowy outside today. I don't want to track water in here. Headroom is about 6'2 in the shower. Uh, I'm fairly wide at about 225, 230 pounds. I've, I think this is a pretty good size shower. I can turn around in here pretty easily. Hey, did you guys hear about the dog that ran 10 miles to retrieve a stick? I did. Sounds a little far-fetched to me. Again, if I didn't mention it already, I think I did. Corey and Countertops. Born Free, again, is one of my favorite coaches. I like the way that they're built. I like their floor plans. I like the fact that a lot of their storage is accessible from the inside on the outside. For example, these doors here, uh, they are storage underneath the couches. Those are also accessible from the outside of the unit, so you can access that storage from in here or outside. I like the way they're built. They're very high-quality construction. And just like the overall look, layout, and feel. The third roll bar that I was going to tell you about is right there in that box right there. The couches. Again, those do incline. I'm going to take a pause here show you those. Uh, but first, I'm going to mention these side windows, nice big side windows. They let in a lot of light, as well as somebody's riding back here while you're traveling. Um, they can easily see outside. These do open. The back half here is screened. That window is going to slide forward. So this half here is going to be open. You've got these little rain gutters here. I think that I've actually read and seen that those are no longer made. Uh, but what that does is you can leave that window cracked to right here where that rain guard is there. And uh, as long as it's not blowing hard, raining hard, uh, with wind blowing, it'll, you can still leave those windows cracked right there. This still gets some air circulation. This half here is going to open and slide that way. That is screened. We do have day-night shades on both sides. I'm going to take a pause here and run these couches. So here up. is the couch in the incline position. You can see that this is actually fairly straight up. This is motorized, so you can stop this anywhere that you want between here and down. So if you want to sleep at this angle, you know, say a 15-degree angle, you can leave this there. You can sleep like that. Uh, very nice feature because the TV is also up here. Uh, if you want to sit up and feel a little more relaxed, kind of like a chase lounge uh, type of thing, you have that and you're able to do that here. These tables are... Um, these are aftermarket. These are not born free factory tables. These are actually lagoon tables. Pronunciation, if anybody knows how to say that better than I do, let me know. It's spelled L-A-G-U-N, I believe. Lagoon. Um, those are aftermarket. Those were installed by, not sure if it was the first owner or the second owner. But these actually swivel around. So we can turn these out if you want to sit down then and then bring it back into you. 
They were also adjustable in height. Uh, there's a couple adjustment knobs up here. This one tightens it down if you don't want it to swivel. And there's another one further down that allows you to adjust the height. Um, the only thing that I don't necessarily like about um, these, they're a very popular table. Um, it's nothing wrong with the table that I don't like. It's the fact that you can see they kind of do, you got to run your chairs forward if you intend to swivel these or move them around much. Uh, you can see it kind of got into the leather a little bit there on that one as well as that one. Uh, so it's best if you're going to swivel these while you're camping and stuff, move them around quite a bit, run those chairs forward so you don't damage the back of those front of those chairs. This was, was, this was also a good candidate for us um, to <coughs> uh, re-carpet. Uh, just kind of dated, cut a little bit faded and stuff like that. The vinyl back here is original. We did nothing with the vinyl. Um, it's fairly easy to change the carpet on this one. The two front chairs, there's four bolts on each one of those. Those pop out and clip a couple wires. Uh, these, you can see there's nothing besides really just unbolting the base. So we pulled the couches, carpeted all this from basically this point forward. The floor is recarpeted. I forgot to get you the measurements of these beds. Uh, these beds are just under six feet, three inches long. Just under, by maybe a quarter inch, six feet, three inches long. And they're about 28 inches wide. It's going to be the same measurements for the one on the driver's side. We do have a 19-inch flat screen TV located up here. DVD player is in this left-hand compartment here. There is some storage. You could pack some things in there around that. Uh, looks like the previous owner must have put this on some foam to try to keep it from rattling around there. On the passenger side here, a uh, nice large storage area. We have in the red trapper keeper there is all of the manuals. Uh, the couple folders here have some service records and some receipts from some other things. This here is a service log or maintenance log from the original owner. Uh, the original owner purchased it brand new, obviously, and put uh, the first almost 61,000 miles on it. Uh, there are no, There is no maintenance log for the second owner, but being that it has 69,000 miles, the majority of the maintenance is logged here on this log from the first owner. Two remotes there. Again, Ford E350 chassis, 6.8 liter Triton V10 engine, loaded up power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, power heated mirrors, CD player, backup camera, as well as the side view cameras show up on that monitor there. Uh, this unit taking into consideration age, mileage, uh, what should be considered normal wear and tear. Um, as you can see, I didn't have not pointed out too many flaws on this coach. Stick around for the outside portion. It shined up very nicely. Interior cleaned up beautifully. Brand new carpet up front here. Uh, I'm going to call this thing between a nine and a nine and a half. I think it's a very nice clean unit. Uh, stands very tall and is still in wonderful condition. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty, folks, we're going to run on the outside of this Born Free Built for Two. We are 22 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. We have six Firestone tires with two 217 date codes. We have an 11 foot awning. This does sit on the Ford E350 chassis. It is powered by the 6.8 liter Triton V10 engine. Uh, up here on this fender here, you can see we do have side view cameras. So this has a backup camera as well as side view cameras. There's a, another one on the driver's fender. Uh, so when you're driving, you can kind of see your blind spot here down alongside the RV. Uh, nice feature to have. Stripes on this one are still in excellent shape. All of the paint, white stuff, fiberglass, paint on the cab, fiberglass on the body. All of that shined up very nicely as well. A few minor imperfections in the stripes, but overall, uh, very good condition. For starters here, we have access to the uh, storage underneath the couch inside. This guy here is the motor. The couch is inside inclined. You'll see that in the inside portion of the video. Close this one here below this one is the propane tank. This is a vent for the propane furnace. A couple of exterior outlets, vent and access to the back of the refrigerator. Another storage compartment here in the rear passenger's corner. Gives us access to the furnace right there. Left a fresh water hose as well as some wheel chocks in, in here for you. This can be accessed from inside. Um, it also gives you access to the back of the water heater here, so it makes it very easy to winterize. So you can put your valves there in the bypass mode. So you can, it's quick and easy to winterize this unit. Cleaned up very, very nicely. Coming around to the back of the coach, we do have a ladder to get on the roof. Right there is our backup camera. Does have a tow package. The hitch slides in that little hole right there. 
And the trailer plug is right there. This here is the vent and access to our water heater. We have small storage compartments in either side of the rear bumper here. Good for uh, tools, cords, anything like that. Coming around to the driver's side of the coach. This side here also, the whole entire thing overall, buffed up, cleaned up, shined up very, very nicely. On the lower corner here is our sewer connections. We got our black water and our gray water, and then our bayonet connection for our sewer hose. We're gonna have our black tank flush there. Our short power cord hooks up right here. Gasoline tank. We have our city water connection, our fresh water tank fill, the valve here for the outside shower, cable TV and um, telephone service, which are pretty much obsolete anymore, and a light out here. Uh, if you're going to take a shower or need to hook up anything like that at night, dark time, you can turn that light on. This does have air-assisted rear suspension. You're going to feel those air bags right here and right here. Uh, passenger side and driver's side. This does have two coach batteries on a slide-out tray. Our Guardian, which is made by Generac, 4K generator. And then this mimics the driver's or the passenger side. We have storage underneath this couch here. Again, the motor for the tilt option on the inside couches. I forgot to mention on the passenger side, these doors here do open. So the storage can be accessed from the inside or the outside. And then of course our short power cord right there. Stripes on this side also in very good to um, dang near perfect shape. A few minor flaws, but uh, very, very nice still. And lastly, I'm uh, just gonna show you this other camera here on the driver's side fender. So again, you have a backup camera and a side view camera on either side of this coach.